and the glories, the glories, the glories, the battles, the stories, the losses, and all the glories. One, two, one, two, three, four, go! The battles, the stories, the losses, and all trying to stretch it out and stuff, but then when we started to run a full song, I think it was, it was opener because we had to do the lift, and I did the lift, and my searing pain just went up in my back, and like, I was like, I freaked out, and I was like all stiff and stuff, and then, so after the song, I was like, oh my word, I was trying to rub it, it was up in my upper, the upper right part of my back, and so then, I was trying to stretch it out, and then we ran another song, and I couldn't take it, it just hurt so bad. So I, like after we had a water break and I just went up to camp and I'm like, camp's my back hurts really bad and I was just like, it hurt bad. <laughs> and so he said, okay, just like kind of lay down and he had me get in this weird stretching position and I was just laying on the floor for the rest of the practice and I was like, a few people were like, what is he doing? And so after practice, I told my dad and so we went up to a chiropractor on the spot.
bring for vegetable donuts. Yeah. Your stomach thinks all potatoes are mashed. Yes. It's weird that we cook and bake bacon. We cook bacon and bake cookies. I'm excited. Uh, I'm really happy expressions made in the state. But yeah, I'm excited they're both getting in. Um, I'm excited for Fusion. Fusion is a very good shot. Although the end of the day is going to be a really big dog fight depending on how, on how Northridge does. But I'm excited. I'm ready. Shokar was a really neat experience. I'd never done anything like it before, and I was just doing the songs, and I just looked out in the crowd, and I was like, I'm so lucky to be with this group, and it was my last time I'd ever performed that show, and it really hit me, and I, I just, I was so happy that I could be a part of something so cool, and it was really meaningful to me. <laughs> Don't let Hayden have it. That's our one rule. Don't let Hayden have it. Yeah, that's a, that's a good rule. I'm not giving you a key. How many keys are there? So much so long. Oh no, I guess it's full. Okay, okay guys. I still effing cough. I still cough. What is going on, Seth? Yeah, what's going on? 
Okay. Uh, so. Right here. Big bottle of Robitussin. <laughs> Cough. Congestion. It's supposed to be gone. It's not. Zycam. Took two tablets of this. Whatever. Nasacort. Whatever. My inhaler is nothing. I cough so much. <laughs> Yeah, maybe some of these will help. Oh. Are those tongues I smell or do you want to be healthy? We have 12 hours to get healthy. Yeah. That's fair. What do you 12 hours to get healthy. 12 hours, that's not enough time. Mr. Mr. Cam was called a mandatory meeting in the homeroom. And so we all get in there and then he tells us there's another girl that's going to be missing. So now we're down two girls because we were hoping that the second girl would be able to make it and make a good enough recovery that she could be there. But then we found out she can't. So now Mr. Cams and our dance captain are going to have to figure out what to do now because we at this point we're still optimistic and trying to keep spirits up, but we're not sure how exactly we're going to combat this new issue. She just cannot kick that fever. She's hanging around 102 and just too sick to perform. So, <clears throat> I get the call from him, from, from uh, and um, Aaron Childress, the director for Huntington, is standing right next to me and he's like, oh man, it really sucks, it really sucks. And I'm like, I just wish I could go somewhere and walk through all of this stuff. And he says, well, what are you doing during this break? Like, can't you go? There's a gym that's open. I'm like, we can't do anything on site. He's like, no, we can't. He's like, go out to the parking lot. And I said, yeah, we have this time at the mall. And I thought maybe, and he says, you take a number line and you get out in the parking lot in the mall and you walk through each of those numbers. And um, I, said, I said something along the lines of, I know there's going to be kids that are disappointed because they wanted some uh, like mall time. He's like, you didn't come to here to, to shop. You came to meet us. Yeah. 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 That's sportsmanship. And he's a class act. Um, what a guy. I still am going to give you some time for eating, for eating and, and relaxing. I, when two of your girls are sick and we have to have an impromptu practice in a mall parking lot to reblock our show, things get interesting. Some, some Animal Planet Discovery Channel. Yeah, so for the opener we show is there's no limit to where we're going. Um, so like literally like we have no limit. We thought it was like the best at Cherubusco and then we went to Normal and it was like way better. And like we thought of maybe it's the best at Normal but like no like let's go out and do it again. Like make get even like more awesome and stuff because we know what to do. Um, but we can't back off. We can't just be like, we have to be like calm and collected and not freak out because it's state. But we also have to be like, bring the energy because like, uh, it would be so cool if we just like went for it like all the way and didn't hold back like we did at normal night show.
Yeah, that's the first thing the judges see again, and Northridge is going to be right before us. And that is, Northridge is going to be one of the better groups that the judges have seen so far. So we need to really push and like show them that, nope, they're not the best group so far. Well, like, first of all, diction. Everyone knows that. Like, the diction's, like, you know, really hard. And then facials, you have got to, like, project it to the judges. Like, you have got to. Because I was sitting up, like, by them, and it was even hard for me to see some of the faces. So, like, if you're slacking, like, the slightest, like, it's going to look completely dead to them. I think all of the work we did is 100% worth it. Um, you just got to try to make it happen now. Um, but the other thing that she just killed the girls on was facials. Um, and like she didn't have anything on her sheet, really. <coughs> Honestly, it was it, the only thing she said was many dead faces, missed positions. Okay. That's all she wrote on it. And she was 90 was her visual score. The other judge was 107. State was indeed experienced too because just the vibe of the whole situation. Um, I didn't even see that many other show cards perform because we were mostly doing our own thing like waiting in a room, but just the, the energy was really there. And even though we were missing a, bunch, a few people, and I had a new choreo for one of the dance breaks because we had to move up. And so I kind of freaked out because I didn't even know some of my positions right before we went on. It was in the warm-up room where he's like, for ballad, I, a dance break or ballad right before and he's like, oh, Matash, you're meant to be at the very front. And I was like, wait, what? And even though it wasn't even hard to choreograph, I just meant to walk up there and do the same thing I was doing. It kind of threw me because I didn't even know I was meant to be up there. And so instead of being on stage, focusing all on the face in the moment, I was freaking out and trying to think of a bunch of stuff that I just learned I was doing. And it was kind of crazy. And Everybody in show choir, it's such a great group of people. Um, it's been a long time since I've been the new guy in a group of, you know, people anywhere. And so just not knowing anything about what's going on is humbling. And everybody was so nice and they're like, you know, you're doing great. If you ever get the chance to join show choir, do it. It's a huge confidence booster. You get yourself out there. Um, yeah. There's nothing more, um, more uh, scary than going out and dancing and singing on a stage. So going into state, I was pretty sick. Uh, I couldn't talk. Cams put me on vocal rest. Uh, I felt really weak and just like really tired, and uh, it was absolutely miserable. But I knew that if we wanted to do well, that I had to push through for the group. So um, I just slept a lot, took a lot of medicine, said a lot of prayers. I mean, it was hard, but it was definitely worth it uh, just to push through for the group and to have that memory to look back on. It's going to be pretty funny in a couple years. I'm really, really proud of uh, the group this season. I felt like we all became a family and like we all just pushed so hard and like we really just worked so, so hard and it was... Um, <laughs> Huntington North 
for second place. Everybody knew and everybody freaked out and I was like, oh my goodness. Because, so I had been waiting, we're working our way up and it's fifth runner up, not us. Fourth runner up, not us. And I'm just waiting for it. Which, which place are we going to be in? Are we going to get screwed? Like, did we not do it good enough? Did we mess up? Then they call second place, first runner up, and it's not us. And before that, they called best vocals, Fairful Fusion. And that was really when I was actually getting nervous. Now let's get a huge round of applause for the 